Hey guys, right, I've been wanting to try out the Velvet Sand Stroke Flocking Technique with my gel polishes and my CND shellac and I just couldn't find the right product that I was looking for. So I came across these on eBay and they're sold by a company called Glitterati and I'll put a link to their Facebook page and this particular product etc in the description box and they are neon glitters but they actually have the texture of sand I don't know if you can see that moving in the pot there and I thought oh these would be brilliant for what I want to do with them so if you're interested in my take on the technique then just stay tuned okay so I'm starting out with two coats of gelish arctic freeze and it has been top coated and the sticky removed so that's a complete now uh, nail ready to go and I've just decanted a tiny bit of IBD just gel polish in Gerber Daisy and then I'm just going to use um, a fine detail brush and just drawing a random pattern um, and I was going to try and do some hearts but Probably won't work out. So you can do any pattern you want. I think people that watch my videos will know that I just do random <laughs> stuff on the nails. Do a few dots and because obviously we've gone all the way to top coat and it's a complete nail you shouldn't have any surface breakdown because we're just adding detail on top of the top coat right so I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that pattern Okay, so obviously that is uncured at the moment, so I'm just going to get the pink um, glitter from the set. I'm just going to open that up. And then I'm just going to place it under here. And then now you just need some sort of scoop or spatula. And I'm just going to use this end of a cuticle pusher. And obviously while it's still wet, we're just going to scoop it on and pour it over the nail and the gel polish will soak up the bits of glitter and then give it a bit of a tap and then have a look in the light to see if there's any spots that you've missed and go back over if you need to And then all you do then is cure it in your your lamp that you use. Um, I'm going to use an LED today, so I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's been cured. And then all you're going to need is a manicure brush, a dust brush, whatever you use. And all we're going to do is brush off the excess, and that is literally it. So I'm just going to go down. And you can be quite rough because the pieces are cured into the glitter. Also, if you've got any glitter remaining on your client's skin, you can just go around with some IPA on a pad and wipe it off. But that is it. And hopefully the texture is coming across on camera. Now these nails are 3D and the texture is of sand, obviously. So I probably wouldn't recommend this for somebody that likes to pick at their nails because they aren't really textured. So that's obviously with gel polish. I also tried it with shellac. So I used uh, CND shellac in Tango Passion and then I used this purple one here. Just some sort of abstract roses on there and that came out really well as well. And that is literally it. Now, I haven't tested the wear of these, you know, with regards to washing your hands, etc. 
but I'm sure that the glitter would stay in place for a good week because it is cured into the gel polish. Um, so I hope you like my take on the velvet sand technique, guys. Um, I'll put the links to all my social networks in the description box and all the products I used. So hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.